Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The Royal Court has announced today that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will tomorrow depart for Saudi Arabia to lead the Kingdom's delegation to the Jeddah Security and Development Summit. His Majesty the King is participating in the key summit hosted by Saudi Arabia at the invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Social Development Minister Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf Al Asfour paid a visit to the Children Protection Center in Glebia. During the visit, the minister discussed with the officials and employees the work plans, the assessment procedures, and the follow-up of the child abuse cases. He was briefed about the mechanism for receiving incoming calls on the toll-free 998 Child Rescue and Support Line in complete secrecy to direct and guide the children and provide appropriate options to solve their problems, thus contributing to preserving their rights. The minister has also visited the child welfare home, Batilka Home, which works around the clock to serve several categories of the children, orphans and children of fractured families up to the age of 15 and boys up to the age of 18. He stressed keenness on consolidating the social development system in the Kingdom of Bahrain, describing the protection of child rights as the cornerstone of the ministry's efforts. The Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, chaired the Gulf Cooperation Council side in the first meeting of the GCC ambassadors with the British Secretary of International Trade, Anne Marie Trevelyan, on the free trade negotiations between both sides, in the presence of the UK Chief Negotiator, Tom Wintel, and several senior officials. They discussed the latest developments and the ongoing negotiations on the free trade agreement between the GCC countries and the United Kingdom, and the expected economic gains for both sides in terms of activating trade and investment supporting small and medium enterprises, joint cooperation and exchanging experiences in the areas of digital transformation, artificial intelligence, education, financial services, renewable energy, and other advantages. The National Space Science Authority is participating in a workshop of the National Geographic Information Council of the United States of America with the participation of government agencies and specialized international institutions. NSSA CEO Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Al Asiri affirmed the authority's keenness to take part in the workshop for their importance in strengthening national capabilities. He stressed that the authority's affiliates make good use of such opportunities and they invest what they've learned professionally. Al Asiri also explained that the workshop provided an introduction on a set of future technologies that will be used to link between geographical locations and communication systems, which will contribute to raising the levels of accuracy of the data obtained, in addition to the importance of reviewing designs for satellite payloads and related Earth station components in light of the rapid technical changes. The National Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain has announced that all the citizens of the GCC are now allowed to enter the Kingdom of Bahrain through all ports using an identity card or a passport without any prior procedures. This comes in line with the resumption of the GCC countries to use the ID card to travel between their countries. This facility also includes allowing the travel of citizens of Bahrain to all the GCC countries. The Kingdom of Bahrain and France held a ceremony yesterday marking the celebrations of their 50 years of diplomatic relations. During the ceremony, the French ambassador recalled the special bonds of friendship and trust that have linked the two countries diplomatically for over 50 years, but much more longer historically. He paid tribute to the quality of the relationship between the two countries. The ambassador also spoke of the strategic importance of Bahrain in the region and its often pioneering role in many areas. He said that the Kingdom of Bahrain's openness to the world, which has existed for thousands of years, has been further strengthened over the past 50 years, driven by an internationally recognized concern for coexistence between cultures and religions, and a strong desire to work for peace and dialogue. We are very excited to celebrate this uh, French National Day in Bahrain. I arrived in 2019, and believe it or not, but it's the first time I will celebrate the French uh, Bastille Day. Uh, it reminds us of uh, that French people are united and they love to gather uh, on this wonderful occasion. Uh, the virus is still around, but 
for the time being is not uh, with us. So we are very happy and uh, to celebrate with uh, Bahraini friends. It's very great because it's the first time for me I attend the national French National Day and to meet all the people and uh, mixed people, Yanni, it's very, very uh, fantastic, it's very nice. It's great. I mean, it's been two years since we couldn't gather and now like we have the opportunity to meet all the expats here in this uh, great location. And yeah, just looking forward to meet more people and uh, ask them about the impression about the country. I've been here for a year now. So it's the time to make new contacts and to meet new interesting people. I've been now in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the last uh, six years and I consider Bahrain as my second home. This is very uh, important night today to celebrate the French uh, Bastille Day and the strong friendship between uh, Bahraini and French community. So we have a lot of uh, connection with uh, France and Bahrain and I hope to see more and more in the future. On behalf of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, the Acting Under Secretary for Counselor and Administrative Affairs, Ambassador Khalil Yaqub Al Khayyat, participated in the reception hosted by the French Embassy on the occasion of the National Day of the French Republic, Bastille Day, which falls on the 14th of July. The ceremony was also attended by a number of senior officials and members of the diplomatic corps accredited to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Ambassador Al Khayat expressed his sincere congratulations to the French Republic, leadership, government and people, and to the French Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Jérôme Chouchard, and members of the French community on the occasion of Bastille Day. He praised the deep-rooted historical relations between both countries, describing the joint ties as a model of constructive partnership.